Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day today. I have a maybe a Shih Tzu Maltese mix that I've done before. She's older. She is, um, you know, almost fully blind. Uh, we're going to get her ears cleaned out first, and then we'll get a bath started for her. So let's go. So here's what she looks like. I'm just going to take some ear powder. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. So this has to be done to prevent ear infections, to allow the ear to breathe. You're okay. Just trying to get it done as quickly as possible. Okay. She's probably not gonna like this, it's just ear cleaner. Just a little bit. Um, if this also helps that if any water gets in the ears, it will dry it out, dry the water up. Okay. There is a mat, there is some matting right here, but they want the ears pretty short anyway, so it's all right. I get asked, why do I not brush the dogs before? Um, this is my way of grooming. If you guys don't agree with my way of grooming, then you don't have to watch me. But this is how I groom. Um, I was not taught to groom this way. I've just adapted my grooming to what I feel dogs need. And um, I'm not going to torture dogs. So I don't brush dogs because one, if your dog is matted, they're going to be shaved. I'm not going to sit here and torture a dog because you can't take care of your dog's coat. Um, and so if your dog isn't matted, I shouldn't have to brush the dog before the bath because it's not matted. Turn the bathing system on. Um, the shampoo I am using today is this deodorizing odor control shampoo. It's fresh shit. Fresh Scent Bark to Basics brand. It's a 16 to one. So in here I put 20 pumps of um, the soap with the water, which is 20 ounces of soap in the water. So we're going to, actually I'm gonna turn it to rinse real quick and I'm gonna get her head wet. Get these eye boogers started soaking. And just get her head wet. Okay, now I'm gonna switch it. And we're just going to scrub and with the bathing system as I scrub the dirt and oil is being washed away it's not sitting on the coat waiting to be rinsed off like if you were hand bathing it gets the dog a lot cleaner than if you were hand bathing if you're hand bathing you'd have to wash the dog probably four times to get as clean as the bathing system does the cleaner the coat the easier the coat is going to be to groom And a clean coat has a certain feel to it. 
so that's how I know when it's clean. You can just leave it there. Thank you. Had an Instacart order. She's pretty dirty. But again, like I can feel when the coat's clean. So I just continue to scrub until the dog feels clean. We're gonna do the tail again. Private areas. Pretty bad anal glands. You wanna make sure to rinse all that away. If you don't, it will make the dog stink. Okay. We're gonna turn it to rinse. Uh, this is some eye wash, not eye wash, face wash. Come here. No, no, no. Okay, Get all that nasty stuff out. This is the blueberry facial. I bought these so I can dilute it. So I just diluted it in here so it's easier to apply. It's be a lot easier to rinse out. Girl, you're being difficult today. Nah, nah, nah. Gotta get your face clean. I'm not getting it in her eye, but there is some stuff around her eyeballs that got to get clean. Okay, so now we're going to rinse. You'll see this right here. It's like a mole. There's another one in here that I'm going to just take this get this junk out best I can girl you gotta let me rinse your face we're just gonna rinse her Squeeze the excess water out. I'm gonna dry her off with a towel. And then I'm gonna dry her a little bit with a high velocity dryer if she will tolerate it. She is older. She's a little finicky as you guys saw on her face. So you just do the best you can. It's good to have a cage dryer. Every groomer should have a cage dryer because you can't use the high velocity dryer on every dog. You just can't. Um, there's some that are terrified of it. There's some that, believe it or not, are like really itty bitty um, and they tend to be moved by the high velocity dryer. All right, ear protection. I've gone over ear protection with me and the dog 500 times in other videos. Um, I don't feel like explaining it in this video if you guys have questions about why I protect my hearing and they don't have any, check out the last couple videos. So this top has been making noise and uh... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
nothing! I'm going to turn the dryer all the way down to low. I'm going to take this nozzle off and then I can dry your face. Sure me. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put her in the cage dryer. Her body's dry. I mean, her her body is dry. It is a wart. There's another one. There's another one. So, her body's mainly dry. I try to dry dogs to about seventy to ninety percent dry before I put them in the cage dryer. And believe it or not, there are quite a few groomers who do that exact same thing. Um, where they will dry the dog to 70 to 90% and then put the dog in the cage dryer for the rest of the time. And you guys have to remember that I'm different than most groomers. Most groomers aren't having to edit videos and post on Instagram and there's a lot of marketing stuff that I have to do and editing that I have to do you know for the business that other groomers don't have to worry about so there I try to prioritize my time and so while she's in the cage dryer I can be working on a video or doing something for you guys to give you guys more content so all right, so usually I wouldn't do this, but the girl does not like her face messed with. So I am going to try to do that first to get it done with, just to get by her eyes. Yep. Not happening. And the, the, the owners know that. The owners know that um, she doesn't like her face messed with. You got a 30 blade. I'm just gonna do the paw pads. <laughs> oh, 
paw pads are matted. I hope you guys are enjoying the more frequent videos. It is a lot more work for me, but it's worth it if it's, you know, making you guys happy and y'all are enjoying the all the videos. Easy girl. This is matted in here. Okay. Got that out. Oh, that's matted. You're okay. That lick lipping, the the lip licking that she's doing is a warning of, hey, I might bite. So I'm watching her out of the corner of my eye really closely, make sure she's not going to turn around and snap. Okay, there's another mat. So the bad thing about that is this part right here, this nasty part, is the part that's against her skin on the inside, so it's irritating it. Turn her. You're okay. You guys might hear my phone go off quite a bit. I just posted um, in the local groups that I was offering free grooms for anyone that had a severely matted dog's uh, impacted undercoat or a dog over 150 pounds. And it just says to text me pictures if they're interested. I know, girl, I know, but we gotta get this out. You're okay. So, I apologize if my phone bothers you guys. It's, that's what it is. It's people texting me their pictures of their dogs. 15 blade. And do the sanitary. Okay, so her private areas are pretty bad. You can see it's pretty discolored. Um, she's lifting her leg up like it itches. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Yep. Like, I'd, I'd be worried about an infection going on in there. If I remember right, this girl had this last time, too. Ugh. That is so bad. That is so bad. Okay, so all this hair is just caked on top. <sighs> Guys, and I scrubbed her. This is not... This is not because I didn't bathe her properly. 
Um, this is because there's so much coat that it's, um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shave her, give her a full haircut. Um, and then I'm going to put her back in the bath and scrub that really well with the antibacterial antifungal soap. Um, and then we'll stick her back in the cage dryer. Um, disinfect that blade before I put it back in. But we're going to get a seven. We want short. I am gonna have to check these messages in a minute. I mean, y'all won't see anything in the video. It'll, I'll just turn the camera off, check, and then turn the camera back on. So it won't be noticeable to you guys, but just letting y'all know that there's gonna be a cut in the video. So why am I shaving this dog? Because that's what the owner wants. Um, if the owner wants a dog shaved, then I'm gonna shave it. You know, even if it's a double-coated dog, it's their dog. It's not my dog, and it's not anybody else's place to say, hey, you can't shave your dog. Um, it's their dog, and it's their choice. You're okay, girl. You're okay. Almost done. Good girl. Always check for a dew claw before you come back and do the inside of the leg. I do know someone that accidentally cut a dew claw off while they were grooming. So I've had a few people ask, why do you not just do all of your grooms free? And that is simply because if something were to happen to YouTube, God forbid something happened to YouTube and YouTube went away. Um, if I was doing all free grooms and then I come back and I'm like, oh, well now y'all have to start paying, you know, that's not fair. So for my regular clients, occasionally I'll be like, oh, I've got this one, especially with my, my really good regular clients. Um, I might be like, hey, you know, don't worry about this time, I've got it. Um, but that is the reason I don't give all free grooms because yeah, I'd love to do that. It would make my life so much easier. I wouldn't have to worry about, um, you know, payment and, and all that stuff. But that is the reason why all the grooms are not free.
Easy. Easy go. Okay, so I'm just going to turn her. We're gonna take this off. We're gonna do around the neck. Guys, you gotta find a routine for you that works. Um, you know, I do the left side of the body, the right side of the body, then around the neck. Come here, girl, you can't be doing that. You're gonna fall off the table. No, no, no. No, stay. Come here, girl. You're making me nervous. Let's go back. There you go. Check my phone real quick. Okay. Two people that had messaged me for the free groom. Come here. Come here. One thing I have started doing something differently as of, you know, January 1 is I no longer charge for senior or undercoat removal. Um, I've just been charging one flat rate, which is very unusual for groomers. Um, I charge one flat rate and that's it. I don't charge for aggression or an older dog or undercoat removal. Whatever the dog needs, it gets for one flat rate now. So like this dog, because she weighs 15 to 30 pounds, is $55. Easy, you're okay. Easy. I'm gonna see if she'll let me do a sanitary. Not with a 30. 15. Easy, easy, easy. You're okay. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them that they probably need to go see the vet just because the, the private area is really bad. Um, I don't see private areas that bad very often. Maybe twice a year.
Hey, hey, you're okay. Easy. You can lie down. Ugh, girl. Come on. No. You're okay. You're okay. And guys, on her, I gotta do the best I can. She's not super mobile in some of her joints or super willing on his front legs easy you're okay so you kind of got to do what you can That plane is really low. Okay. I'm going to trim nails. Probably not going to use, oof, these nails are pretty long. Probably not going to use the Dremel on her just because she is pretty touchy. No, 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 no. Probably I'm going to use the Dremel. have a dog that's supposed to be here in five minutes. You're okay. There they are. 
All right, so I'm gonna put this girl in a cage. Go get this other dog. And then we'll finish her. Well, I thought my next client was here, but they're not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, this tail is super curly. So we're just going to brush it out the best we can. Actually, I think it's been broken before because it's curved permanently. Easy girl. Just gonna brush it out. And we're going to trim it. Of course, they're here now that I get the dog back on the table. That's how it always happens. Well, that was not who I thought it was. It was just a client calling for some pricing. So I don't know if these people are not going to show up. Just gets the hair away from the butt and everything. Come here, girl. Hang on, girl. Girlfriend. Yeah, so they've got about five minutes to show up. Or it's a no-show and they get charged the full price of the groom. Easy girl. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so we're gonna get this front legs done. Come here. Get them done the best we can anyway. Girlfriend, you're knocking stuff off the table. Easy. Girlfriend, got to put your head up. Where 
we doing? Down. No. Girl. Sorry guys. So another reason why I make people prepay is because sometimes people don't show up and that's wasted money. Like I could have another dog right now that's here. Um, I don't even know how much this other dog was. I'll tell you guys in a minute. Her feet are hard to trim because her nails are so long. But you just gotta do what you can. So now we're going to do the ears. Just use this slicker brush. You're okay. I'm right here. You're fine. I hit a freaking mole or wart. Uh -uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Stop. Come here, girl. I'm gonna do this side. Yeah, I can see where they cut something out over here.
no, no, no. Clean up that neckline. Okay, she does not like her face to mess with, okay? Um, so this is not going to be a good video if you guys are trying to find a video on how to do a face. I need to check my messages real quick and then mark this person as a no-show so they know, hey, you no-showed and you're being charged for it. Okay. So, um, the person that just no-showed, it was a 81, almost $82 dog. So, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, how can you prepay for something easy and then you just don't show up? Like... I, I, I don't know. Get people. Come here. Oh. Well, leaves me more time to edit videos and do things that I need to get done. So, we are going to trim these ears. Girl, you are all over the place today. No, 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 come here. Girl, tighten this again. <sighs> Stop moving everywhere. These ears have got to be trimmed. Okay, so we're gonna find the end. Hey, where's the end? Hey, girlfriend. Gonna take a bunch of this bulk off to see what the I know. It's not going to look the best, guys. It's just not. Because she does not want her... She doesn't like her face touched. But... Got to do what you got to do. Easy. Girlfriend. All right, I'm gonna move all this off of here. This over here. Yeah, guys, like, I just can't get over it. Like, it, it, 
It baffles me. Why would you schedule an appointment? And, and it's not like they don't get notifications. They get a notification. They get an email three days before. Then they get a text a day before. And it asks them to confirm it. And she confirmed. So it just baffles me of how you can schedule for something and pay for it and then not show up. Stop. Gonna trim this the best I can. You're fine. makes me so nervous but you got to do the best you can and so that's what I'm doing just going to comb this forward Stop. All right, that's about as good as she's gonna get, guys. Um, I'm not going to ha -ha, risk her getting injured. And the owners know. I mean, they know that she does not like her face touched because I would love to go in there and scoop the eyes out and do in here, but she just doesn't she just doesn't like it so i'm gonna get a bandana but you look better you do you do you look better some doggy cologne So I have some people ask why I cut and then pull away. I cut and then I pull away. And that is because if I sit there and cut in the same spot, I can't really see fully what I'm doing. So if I go like this, I can see where my line is because if I just cut in here, I can't see what I'm doing. So I just cut like this and pull it away from the body so I know exactly what I'm doing. Come over here. See, one more time. I wish I could get in here a little more. Okay. So she's done, guys. I'm just going to take an after picture. Hey. guys put her in a cage well just 
just don't understand people. Oh, that's gonna bug me. I'm gonna see if she can, she'll let me trim that a little bit. This one side. Stop. Stop. It's so much longer. Guys, and this is sometimes I have to do this. Like I don't realize something until I see the dog in a stop in a different environment, you know, different setting that that's gonna have to do. Um, I'm not gonna risk cutting her. So thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to check out the links down below. I do have an Instagram for Rover's Makeover if you want to check that out. And then the outreach channel is linked down below where we go out every weekend. My friend Lydia and I, we go out every weekend and pass out um, bags with supplies and other supplies um, such as tents, blankets, tarps, uh, sleeping bags, hand cranks, solar powered radios, etc. So if you guys want to see, check that out, that link is down below. The wish list for the outreach is down below, and so is the PayPal account email. And thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.